Well, it's time for my panel to reveal their greatest Britain and union jackass. Columnist and broadcaster Carol Malone, senior reporter for the I newspaper Benjamin Butterworth and social commentator Esther Kraku. So, Carol, who is your greatest Briton? Right, my greatest Briton is a lady called Belinda Phipps. Now, Belinda uh, was a former head of the National Childbirth Trust. She's had the guts to go public and sign an open letter where she's supporting a pregnancy charity's pledge to continue to use the word women and mother when you're talking about pregnant mums, because we do know there are other charities who have banned the word women and mother in relation to pregnancy. She spent, Belinda spent 15 years at NCT, Britain's largest parenting charity, uh, and she's among 1,200 people who've signed this open letter. And we're talking about lords and midwives and academics, but she's, she's one of the few who've actually had the guts to put their name. A lot of them have signed anonymously because they're terrified of being targeted by these, by the trans lobby, mm. who, you know, they feel threatened by them, they can be cancelled by them. And, and it is, you know, People have to start taking a stand against being scared of saying what they think of expressing an opinion for fear of being targeted. I don't think by people realise how serious this is. I don't this think isn't just about sort of being inclusive or whatever ridiculous yes. narrative they want to come up with. You are actually you are trying to destroy people's lives yes. for supporting for not supporting a fallacy, a yes, lie. Exactly. Men are not women. They yes. cannot be women. Yes. Men cannot, cannot get pregnant. pregnant. Exactly. There is no in between. I mean, the fact that you are actually being asked to deny biological reality and you yeah. could lose your job over it is lunacy. Is, is lunacy. I mean, yeah. you show your ignorance in the fact that you don't. What do you mean? I show my ignorance because that's I, I, not I what studied, this story is biology. about. The story biology. isn't about transgender women. Transgender, women. transgender women. women. No, but it's about her courage and being able to stand up to against a very small lobby of people with a very very loud voice and say this is what I think and this is what I believe this is a truism and she's saying it and lots of people who are much bigger and much more important than her have hidden from that from doing that brave thing so for, well, look so, at Benjamin I know you're itching to have that debate but the clock is against us so um, how about your greatest Britain well mine's a lot lighter and also technically not British but uh, it's ABBA who I love uh, uh, I know band. <laughs> even though Dan's away we're still gonna get some ABBA content in the show uh, I, I interviewed last <laughs> I'd put them in the top five greatest bands of all time. I'd put them in the top one. Wow. Uh, you know, <laughs> and I love them. And I interviewed the three people behind their comeback. So their new album is out, what, 5th of November. And I said to them, they had to, they've got this Avatar show. And so they had to film, ABBA had to reunite for five weeks in Stockholm together. And I, they said that ABBA, a couple of days into this, said it just wasn't quite right because they were just looking out at a sea of cameras and camera operators. And so they gathered up the dinner ladies and the cleaners at the building in Stockholm who had no idea they were there. They brought them in. They said, we've got a very special surprise. And then for more than a month, the dinner ladies made the dinners and then they all went and danced with ABBA for real. What if they didn't like ABBA? And they, and they kept, well, I won't, I won't say what, uh, what was said, but one of them, Ludwig Andersson, the son of Benny, uh, did say if they didn't like ABBA, I suppose they would probably hated it. But <laughs> I just thought it was the loveliest story. You know, here are people that were offered a billion dollars to reunite yes. and they won't perform together for real in front of anyone, but for the dinner ladies and the cleaners, they gave a show privately. I think it's really wonderful and I've been listening to the uh, first couple of tracks uh, in their new album, which is called A Voyage. And there's one particular tune, it's called Don't Shut Me Down. And Ooh. for me, it's an instant classic. It's as good as their early stuff. I think what I like about the new songs I've heard is that they haven't tried to reinvent the wheel. It is more or less classic ABBA, isn't it? Well, you can't beat the best. That's the thing about oh, ABBA. Too right. Uh, well, look, we uh, need to power through our final nominations. Esther, your greatest Britain. The Queen, yay. That will do. I we know. don't need an excuse. I know, we? just wishing her a speedy recovery. Um, yeah, I always... We need her to queen. slow down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, slow I, recovery. I, I think that's the best nomination of the show tonight. I think yeah. that will take some beating. God bless her. And we do wish ma'am a speedy recovery.